Where should we go? What should we see? Do you want to go on a sound walk with me? Amazing! Come on, let's go! I'm walking, walking all about to find some sounds soft and loud. Listen, listen carefully. Sounds are fun for you and me. Help me listen with my ears. Tell me now, what do you hear? It's a cat, a cat, a cat. How about that? Uh-oh, I feel some drops of rain. Let's keep going and hear what we can hear. I'm walking, walking all about to find some sounds soft and loud. Listen, listen carefully. Sounds are fun for you and me. Help me listen with my ears. Tell me now, what do you hear? Whoa, that's a loud, loud sound. What is it? Yes, it is, it is thunder. I hear thunder very loud. Let's all wave to the thunder cloud. I'm walking, walking all about to find some sounds soft and loud. Listen, listen carefully. Sounds are fun for you and me. Help me listen with my ears. Tell me now, what do you hear? A bell, a bell, I can hear it very well. Using our ears to hear sounds makes our world more interesting. But how do we hear sound? Sound travels on sound waves. When something vibrates, which means it moves very fast, it creates sound that moves on the waves, the sound waves. That is why we can hear a guitar. The movement of the strings moving back and forth make the sound move on the waves to our ears. Now, let's use sounds to hear our superhero vowels. Did you know that every word has a vowel? Vowels are superhero letters and they can do something that no other letter can do. They can say their own name. To write a word we always need, a vowel for the glue. A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. The vowels are the glue. That's right, every word needs a vowel and it helps the other letters to stick together. Vowels can say a short sound, but they can also have a long sound. My vowels have a short sound. It's a, a, i, a, a. My vowels have a long sound. It's a, e, i, o, u. Let's look at our vowels in action. Vowels are our superheroes because they can do what the other letters cannot do. They can say their own name. Today we're going to learn about the mighty E. The mighty E is at the end of the word and does not say a sound. The mighty E is very quiet, but taps the vowel on the shoulder and reminds them to say their long sound. Let's see how the mighty E can help the vowel say his long sound. Remember, the mighty E at the end of the word is very, very quiet and does not make a sound. Long vowels go marching in a word and say their name. Long vowels go marching in the word and play a game. Sometimes they have help from mighty E. Sometimes they are in a vowel team. And this is how the long vowel says its name. Play a game. Now let's use what we've learned about the long sound and the short sounds of the vowels to help us write some first words. My first word is tam. Let's go ahead and listen to it right on our chin. T, a, m, tam. I'm going to go ahead and get my board out and my marker. And I have a very special guest, Mr. Moogly, because his eyes are googly. Mr. Moogly's job is to help us erase if we make a mistake, because mistakes are part of learning. Let's use what we've learned about our superhero vowels to help us spell first words. Our first 
first word is tam. Let's listen to it right on our chin. T, a, m, tam. Great work. I heard a t at the beginning, and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter T. So I'm going to put a T in the first box. T. Now, to help us hear that middle sound, we're going to stretch the word out. Get ready. Ta -a 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 -a. Did you hear the A in the middle? Me too. And I know that's the sound that goes with the letter A. It's the short sound. So I'm going to put an A in the middle box. T, A, M. Mm. Mm, I know that's the sound that goes with the letter M. So I'm going to put an M in the last box. Great work. Let's get out our reading finger and touch each letter and say its sound. T, A, M. Now go ahead and stretch it. Tam. Blend it. Tam. But what if I want to make this word T-A-A-A-A? I can add the silent and quiet but mighty E at the end. Let's go ahead and add that mighty E at the end. And the mighty E is going to tap on the A to remind the A to say its own name. So now the A says A. All right, let's try it. T, A, M. T, A, M. Tame, great work. We added a mighty E and we made a whole new word. Let's go ahead and try another one. The word is Sam. S, A, M. Sam. What do you hear at the beginning of Sam? Did you hear the s in Sam? Thumbs up. And I know that's the sound that goes with the letter S. But I also know that Sam is a name. And so we have to start all names with an uppercase. So it's going to be an uppercase S. Now let's stretch it out to hear that middle sound. Sam. Ooh, I heard the short A. So let's put a short A in the middle box. S, A, M. Ooh, I heard an M at the end, and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter M. So I'm going to put an M in the last box. Great work. Let's get out our reading finger. Here we go. S, A, M. Now go ahead and stretch it out. Sam. Blend it. Sam. But what if I want to make this word say? What can I add at the end to help the A say its own name? I can add the mighty E. So I'm going to put a mighty E at the end, and the mighty E is very quiet, but very mighty, and is going to tap but gently on the A and remind the A to say its own name. Let's go ahead and read our new word. S A M. Let's try it again. S A M. Blend it same. Do you know what I know about this word? I know it's not a name anymore. So I do not need to have an uppercase S in the first box. And it's a good thing I brought Mr. Moogly along because he helps us to erase if we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and take off that uppercase S and I'm going to make it a lowercase S. S A M. Blend it same. Great job. I've had so much fun today learning all about our vowels and how sound works. I'll see you next time when I teach to your super learning strengths, one child and family at a time.